Hi guys, it's Yasmin. So welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to show you the wear and tear on this Chanel Walk, which is the wallet on chain. Uh, this is in pink lambskin leather with a matte gold hardware. And I've had this for about four years, so I thought it was uh, time to do a wear and tear and a review on the back. So if you're interested in this, do stay tuned. So as I mentioned, I got this about four years ago and actually it still looks pretty good because I just got it recolored and treated. I think it has gone through a lot so I thought that I should just give it some tender loving care. And this one is a very chic statement piece which you can wear dressed up or down. So you can either wear it uh, cross bodied like this, which I love. So this is how I usually carry it. Or you can... Um, double it up double the strap over here and carry it like a purse yeah you can carry it like this or you can carry it as a clutch but which means that you'll have to hide the whole strap into the space here which is already very small so i think it's a very versatile piece which i really really love let me just share with you the features of the bag so this bag has a snap closure which ensures that you know uh, it's kept uh, close all the time and it has a zip zip pocket over here which i think it goes all the way down so you can actually pretty much hide things that you don't want people to find out and there's also another zip pocket here and there's two slip pockets there's one in front here as well as one here yeah it has six card holders as usual per Chanel purses they have this um, another slip pocket at the back and because of its compact design you really have to think about what you want to carry so for me I usually carry my essentials and I usually carry this whenever I need to be hands-free because then I'll carry it cross bodied and run errands and so on so uh, to me this is a useful versatile bag but because it's so useful I've used it for many many times over the course of four years and it has shown a lot of wear and tear and as you know lambskin leather is very delicate and on hindsight I should have gotten it in caviar leather but I didn't want it in black I wanted something pink because I wanted it to be my statement piece uh, that could give my outfit a bit of pop of color yeah so I went for this pink so the reason why I had to send it to the back spa was because it had watermarks on the flap and inside um, I made the decision you know what let's just send it to the back spa and get it cleaned however the ladies you can't just clean the bag because the watermarks have been absorbed so she advised me to do a recoloring of the leather so I thought would it be okay and I was afraid because well you know I, I, I don't know how it would turn out but thankfully it turned out fine I, I wanted the same shade but I think it came out slightly uh, richer than the original pink, which is fine. And that's it. The watermarks are gone and the moldy smell is gone. Of course, you can see that at the edges, the edges, there's scruffings. Um, the edge here where, you know, the, the flap tends to open, you can see crease marks. There's a bit of, it, it's peeling off. The edges also, I think, this bag, oh my god, the color transfer. I think I wore it with my very dark blue jeans and the whole bag here got color transferred and it was horrible. I I think thankfully I managed to rub some of the color out using wet wipes, but in doing so, I think I damaged the leather portion. Overall, the texture of the leather has become it's not as supple as it used to be when I first got it so it has become slightly dry to the touch the poofiness of the uh, quilt I know the quilt design here it's not as thick as it used to be because of creases over here and because the bag is sometimes I you know sometimes I forget to store my bags properly so this happens it becomes flattened uh, but now I try to store it I think it's a bit too late but now I try to store it uh, with something inside oh man I got tangled up <laughs> the gold hardware surprisingly is still very it does no tarnishing uh, and when I recolored the leather they actually they recolored the leather here too yeah the only tarnishing I would say that took place was 
the one here you can see the um, zipper pull and this one not so bad I think this one yeah and there's a bit of cracking on the tab here otherwise the inner lining here is still fantastic and because it's of the kind of material that you can clean so it's fine if I were to sell this bag I think I will put it as 7 over 10 for the condition would I sell it I I don't think so I think I don't have any intentions to get another Chanel bag so I like that I have this in my collection this is the only Chanel bag that I have in my collection and I'm happy with it I don't think I want to look for something else because uh, well the, the price point for Chanel bag handbag is really very steep so mm, no. yeah that's the overall wear and tear of the bag but because it's still pretty good I think I'll continue to use it I just like how simple compact it is so there you go that's all I have for today's wear and tear video anyway thank you for watching the video and for your support and if you have any comments or questions please leave them down below in the comment section and if you did enjoy this video do give me a thumbs up or if you will you could subscribe I'm not forcing and yeah so thank you for watching